In this video, we're going to talk about the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, which is commonly known as the PCAOB. So the PCAOB was a nonprofit corporation that was created by United States Congress in 2002. And it was actually part of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. So the Sarbanes-Oxley Act was passed in response to a wave of, of accounting frauds from U.S. companies like Enron and WorldCom. And so Sarbanes-Oxley did a lot of things to tighten up regulation for firms and also for the audit industry, but it also created this PCAOB to serve as a watchdog or regulator of the audit industry. So auditing firms previously had been self-regulated, but now what, what Congress did is said, okay, look, we had a major audit failure here with Arthur Anderson and in their, in their audit of Enron and, and so forth. So now we're going to create this PCAOB, and they're going to make sure that the auditing industry is doing a good job, that auditors are maintaining their independence and so forth. So I want to tell you a little bit of structure of the PCAOB, and then we'll talk about the role. So there are five board members on the PCAOB, and one of the people serves as, as the chairperson. So there's four regular board members and then the board member who's the chairperson. And they're appointed by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So it's interesting that even though it's a nonprofit corporation, the P PCAOB, and it's, it's an independent group, it's, it's tied to this public agency. It's tied to this public agency, and by public I mean governmental, because the SEC is a governmental agency, right? And so a governmental agency is appointing the members of the PCAOB. So sometimes people call the PCAOB a quasi-governmental entity, but it's not technically a government agency, okay? And these board members, they're going to serve five-year terms. And the SEC also is going to oversee the activities of the PCAOB. They're going to approve their budget, the, their activities, and, and so forth. So the SEC is, is closely involved with the activities of the PCAOB. Now, the PCAOB, in terms of their funding, they get money from fees that are paid by public companies. And when I say public uh, companies, I mean companies that are publicly traded. Because, again, the PCAOB has to do with audits of public companies, companies that you could buy their stock on a U.S. stock exchange, right? It's not, not talking about small mom and pop businesses that have a local CPA do the audit, right? So it's a large firms that are publicly traded and, and we're regulating the, the auditors that audit those public companies. Now, in terms of the role, there are multiple things that the PCAOB does. So just to give you kind of a summary, one thing is that First off, all companies that are doing an audit of a publicly traded firm, of one or more, they have to be registered with the PCAOB. So they have to get, they have to register with the PCAOB, and that's going to be important uh, for a number of reasons, which I'll talk about in a moment. Now, the PCAOB also is the standard setter for the auditing industry. Now, when I say standard setting, you you might think about the the FASB and think about GAAP. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about auditing standards, right? GAAP. Is, is accounting standards for how should we should be doing accounting. But we also have generally accepted auditing standards. We have these auditing standards that are made about how to properly do an audit. And so the PCAOB, they have that responsibility. So they not only, firms have to register with the PCAOB, they have to follow the rules, the standards that the PCAOB sets of how to properly conduct an audit. Now, I had said that these firms, they register with the PCOB, and that's important because the PCOB is going to monitor these audit firms on an ongoing basis. So if we've got an, a firm that's auditing publicly traded companies, the PCAOB is going to go in every, uh, they're going to sample, they're actually going to go and sample some of their audits. They're going to do a sample and say, hey, well, let's take a look at one of your audits and see if you're actually, actually following uh, the auditing standards, if you're doing a good job. So actually the PCOB has a role of, of ensuring quality control to go in and make sure that the audits are, are, are up to par. And then the PCOB can, they have an, also have a role with enforcement, discipline, and sanctions. So if, if they go and they monitor and they find out that, you know what, we took a look at one of the, your, your company's audits, and we're really not happy with what happened. They can go and they can actually initiate disciplinary proceedings and impose some kind of penalty or sanction against that audit firm. So the, the PCAOB has a lot of power in their role as basically the watchdog or the regulator for the auditing industry.